Chief X coming at you with some more of this common sense science. Okay? When I was a youth, I was programmed by my family, friends, church, schools, and everything in my environment. So, when we seen a little girl with nappy, kinky hair, we laughed and said, look at your shit. You need to get your hair done. We said that as children. Okay? Because we were programmed by those I just previously mentioned with a standard of beauty. So as a child, in an immature mind, I didn't know any better. Okay? I didn't change until I became 23 years old. I had to actually force and reprogram myself. And it didn't happen until I became Afrocentric. Okay? I started seeing sisters with natural hair and I was like, Oh, that's cute. Okay. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. And I had to reprogram myself and think and force myself to think correctly because I was programmed incorrectly as a youth. We all did it when we was in high school, um, junior high and elementary. We talked about the nappy-headed girl and the, you got beads on your head, you need to get your hair done. And when mama seen your hair getting frizzy and not as straight, she said, girl, come on, let me. Sh we need to do your hair. Let me get your hair done. Your hair is looking bad. Same thing with the boys. It works with them too. You need a haircut. Your head, uh-uh, uh-uh. You need a haircut. We did that. So, as a child, okay, a little boy grows up. His mama, his auntie, his cousin. His uh, grandmama, his uh, 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 friends, his family, uh, uh, people in the church, people at school, all of them permed and pressed and straightened their hair. So as he's growing up, all the women in his family, subconsciously or consciously, programmed his standard of beauty and what he was supposed to think looks good. So, as a child, I'm growing up with this. Oh, damn, everybody's doing this. This is the way it's supposed to be. We're supposed to straighten out these kinks. We're supposed to straighten out these naps. Because that's not good. When my hair started growing out, my parents took me to the barber shop to cut that shit off. And have a low cut. And then they say, oh, you look nice again. When a little girl got her hair done. let me, Girl, let me get your hair done. Let me get, put that hot comb on there. Put that perm on there. And then they say, now you look good. And everybody around her say, girl, you look nice. Ooh, girl, you look good. You got your hair. So, subconsciously, we get fucked up. Mentally. From a baby. No choice. This is how we're programmed. So, your computer only knows what you program it to know, and it behaves accordingly. So, in a sense, and this is reality, black women have programmed black men, through no fault of their own, what the standard of beauty is. So, when men grow up, it's not a surprise for them to look at a natural hair woman not in a good light. It's no surprise that they're picking weaves and that Hollywood look and you know straighten and end their hair. It's not a surprise because from a baby that's how they've been programmed and brought up to live. They didn't see the women in their family styling and learning different styles of natural hairstyles and making the afro look fly you know what I mean bantu knots and stuff like that and, 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 and braid outs and they didn't see that growing up 
So, this is just what they've been programmed to see. So, when people ask the question, what do black men prefer? Not that they prefer that. It's just that's how they were programmed. Okay? And men and women haven't deprogrammed themselves. It's what it is. This is a reality. So any man growing up and choosing and picking this hairstyle or saying this is more fly than that, it's because his family, friends, church, aunties, uh, uh, grandma, sister, cousins, and all of them programmed his standard of beauty for him. So, we have to deprogram and reprogram ourselves to what we set as a standard of beauty. We're going to cut this bullshit out. It's what I'm trying to say. So, when I post on hair, I'm posting on it for a reason. Afro hair kinky hair is part and parcel, not all of our Afrocentricity is part of our upliftment of the woman and her standard of beauty and the standard of beauty we set for the world we no longer want Mexican, Indian Arab, Chinese Korean, Japanese white women Looking at us saying, look at these goddamn fools. They hate their goddamn hair and changing it. Look at them. They're saying that behind our back. Believe me. You'll never hear them. It's not a front. They at home talking about us. I don't want to be talked about. I can give a shit about their opinion. But on the world stage, we want to look be looked at as a people with high self-esteem. High hair esteem and we want to represent what we are because we're the only people on the planet that can grow kinky hair and have kinky hair that's a blessing we are distinguished and we need to represent what we're distinct and born with you understand what I'm saying so let's deprogram and reprogram and I'm hard on this issue for a reason you may not see it, but if you think deeply, let go of the denial, let go of all the justifications and excuse, you will see, you know what, that brother Chief X show is right. I didn't fuck my daughters and sons up with how I've been behaving, and they've picked it up, and now they want it. We got to stop, we got to change. This is a peace of the many pieces of the puzzle. Okay? It's legit to be talked about and spoke on. I'm Chief X. I'm out.